in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto assets to and from Kraken. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. To deposit some crypto assets onto the Kraken platform from another exchange or from a wallet address, we'll start out by clicking right here on transfer, or you can come down here and click on deposit. Now you can see I'm on the transfer page and set to deposit. From here, you choose the crypto that you wish to deposit onto the platform by clicking right here, then selecting it from this drop down menu. Alternatively, you can search for it in the search bar right here. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just use Ethereum, so I'll give that a click. The next step is to choose a network for the deposit by clicking right here. Then you'll get a drop down menu with the available networks that you can use to deposit crypto onto Kraken for the coin that you've chosen. Simply click on the network that you wish to use. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and click on Arbitrum 1. Then Kraken will be generating your deposit address down below for the network as well as the coin that you've chosen. Now it's important to note that the network must match on both sides of this. So wherever you're sending the coins from and into Kraken must support that network and you'll need to select it to make sure that it matches the network that you have selected on Kraken. You don't want to send coins from one network and into another network, or you can lose the coins forever. Right here, you'll find your deposit address for the coin as well as the network that you're using. And just below that, you'll find a QR code. So if you're sending the coins in from a smartphone, you can scan that QR code to get this done. For this demonstration, I'm going to copy my deposit address by simply clicking on this little box right here that says copy. And what I'll do is I'll send some Ethereum into Kraken from Coinbase. So I'll quickly bring Coinbase into frame. To send Ethereum from Coinbase into Kraken, I'll have to come right up here where it says send and receive and give it a click. If you're using a different exchange, sometimes you're looking for a withdrawal button and sometimes a transfer button. In this pop-up window here, I'll choose Ethereum by clicking right here and selecting it from this drop-down menu. Next, I need to choose how much Ethereum I wish to send from Coinbase and over to Kraken. I just have a tiny bit of Ethereum here, so I'll go ahead and just click on send all. Now I'm going to paste my Kraken deposit address for the Arbitrum network into this box right here, just like so. And now I'll come down here and click on continue. Now I'm going to select exchange or institution. On this step here, I need to choose the correct network, which in this case was the Arbitrum network. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And I can see Arbitrum up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. And I'm going to click, I understand. Now the network matches on both sides of this. I'm sending Ethereum into Kraken over the Arbitrum network. So everything looks good. I'm going to come down here and click on send now. And now the Ethereum's on its way from Coinbase and into Kraken over the Arbitrum network. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on done. And I'll bring Kraken back into frame just like so. Now I'll come over here and click on home. And as you can see, the Ethereum has now arrived on Kraken from Coinbase. And that took about 10 minutes over the Arbitrum network. Some networks will be faster and less in fees than others. And you can see my Ethereum right down here. To withdraw coins and transfer them from Kraken to another exchange or wallet address, you can start out by clicking right here on the transfer button, or you can come down here and click on withdraw. Now you can see we're back on the transfer form and we're set to withdraw. Choose the coin that you wish to withdraw by clicking right here and selecting it from this drop down menu, or you can search for it in the search bar. I'll go ahead and use Ethereum again by giving it a click. Next, we'll click here and choose the network that we wish to use. And once again, just make sure wherever you're sending these coins to supports the network that you wish to use and that you select it on the other side of this. Make sure the networks match on both sides. And for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and click on Arbitrum 1. Now we need to add an address that we wish to send the coins to by coming down here and giving this a click. From here, we'll give the address a description. And in this box here, we'll paste in the deposit address of the destination that we're sending the coins to. And to keep this nice and simple, I'll go ahead and use Coinbase again. So I'll quickly bring Coinbase into frame. On Coinbase, I need to find my deposit address for Ethereum on the Arbitrum network. So to do that, I'm going to come up here where it says send and receive and give that a click. On other exchanges, it'll probably just say deposit or it might say transfer. In this pop-up window here, I'm going to toggle this over to receive. 
and I'm going to click right here where it says Bitcoin and I'm going to search for Ethereum just like so. I can see it at the top, so I'll go ahead and give that a click. Now I need to choose the Arbitrum network. And to do that, I'm going to click right here where it says network and select Arbitrum from this drop down menu. Now the network matches on both sides. So down below right here, I can see my Ethereum deposit address using the Arbitrum network. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it by clicking on this copy button right here. Now I'll bring Kraken back into frame and I'm going to paste that deposit address into this box right here. And I'll give this address a description. So I'll go Coinbase Ethereum Arbitrum and then click on add withdrawal address. Then you'll have to sign into your email and confirm that withdrawal address. Then once you confirm the address, Kraken will save it for you. In the future, you'll be able to find your withdrawal addresses by simply clicking here. Then you'll get a drop down menu with the addresses that you've added to your Kraken account in the past. For future withdrawals, you'll be able to click on one of your saved addresses and you'll still have the option to add new addresses as well. Now that I've confirmed the withdrawal address, I can choose how much of the asset that I wish to withdraw by typing it into this box right here. And you'll be able to see your available balance right up here. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. So you can type a custom amount into this box if you want, or you can use one of these quick options down below. So if I want to withdraw half of my Ethereum, I could click on this button right here. And if I want to withdraw all of it, I just click on 100%. Once you get that set up the way that you want it, you just come down here and click on withdraw. Then you'll get a pop-up window to confirm your withdrawal. So make sure everything in here is correct. And if it is, you'd come down here and click on withdraw. Now the withdrawal has been successfully submitted. And soon the Ethereum will be on its way from Kraken and back over to Coinbase. Now, quick tip with this. If it's your first time transferring coins onto Kraken or sending coins from Kraken to another exchange or wallet address, just send a small amount first. Once the small amount arrives as you intended, you can have the confidence to send in a larger amount. But that's how you get this done. And there you have it. That's how you transfer crypto assets to and from Kraken. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other Kraken tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.